hello everyone in this video i'm going to explain you about how to determine the axial forces in these bars of a plane truss loaded which is loaded as 1 kN as shown in the figure okay so in this truss have you seen this these two joints are hinged to the foundation so then it is not necessary to find the support reactions okay so now i am going to assume assume the axial forces in all the members like you know here i assumed the force like this compressive force this is also compressive force and this is also i mean this is tensile force like that i am assuming here also first we are going to assume the direction of this axial forces later on we are going to calculate whether these directions assumed directions are correct or not so like that i assumed all the forces in the members and now by using method of joints i am going to calculate each joint so first consider joint e so we know that have you seen this joint e so here the joint e is in equilibrium under two forces those two forces are fde and fec fec but here have you seen that these two forces are non collinear so we know that two forces are non collinear hence they must be zero that's why i wrote like this fed equal to fec equal to zero for joint e and next i am considering joint d okay first i am going to show you the free body diagram for the joint d here this is d joint okay so we assume this force fde which is zero already i told that and next which is fdc this is fdc we assume and downward it is 1 kN the force acting here and here it is inclined force which is compressive force i mean towards the joint so like that this is the free body diagram for this joint d okay consider this like this is x axis and this is y axis by using equilibrium equations sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma fy equal to 0 we are going to find the forces in these members okay fdc and fdb so i'll show you so here same diagram for joint d have you seen this fdb so here the force is like this towards the joint fdb so for this fdb i am writing the joint like this okay so this is fdb force for the calculation purpose i am extending the member like this so if we know that opposite angles are always similar so this is 45 degrees the opposite angle is 45 and we know that this entire angle is because this is perpendicular angle so we know that it is 90 degrees so here it is 45 the remaining portion is 45 first we need to calculate this inclined force that is ftb why right? because we are solving summation of all forces in x direction so now i am going to resolve this ftb force in this x direction so we need this adjacent value that is for this theta it is adjacent side by using trigonometrical rule cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse okay so unknown is adjacent so adjacent equal to hypotenuse into cos theta so here hypotenuse is fdb into cos theta theta is 45 so 45 so ultimately fdb i am resolving this force to this axis that is x axis so here this is right side direction 
so for the right side it is positive so that's why i wrote fdb cos 45 positive why because we are solving summation of all forces in x direction like that next force is this one in x direction it is fdc so fdc is this is in negative direction that's why i wrote this as minus fdc after that i am going to write the equation like this the same equation this fdc is in left hand side i am taking this fdc to the right hand side so here it is fdc becomes positive and next here it in the left hand side it is multiplying cos 45 is multiplying i am sending this uh, cos 45 to the right hand side it becomes dividend so fdb equal to fdc by cos 45 we know the value that is root 2 1 by root 2 so fdb equal to fdc by root 2 and the next we are going to solve summation of all forces in y direction so now again it comes to free body diagram we are going to calculate all forces in y direction so now i am going to resolve this fdb so fdb value to this y direction so here we need this value which is opposite to this theta so adjacent side is this one and opposite side is this one so by using trigonometrical rule we know that sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse okay so here unknown is opposite side so that is opposite side so hypotenuse is fdb that equal to opposite side equal to hypotenuse is fdb sin theta is 45 okay so why why i am resolving this force to this y direction because we are calculating all forces in y direction so the equation is like this fdb sin 45 which is positive why because upward is positive in y direction next minus next y direction is this one this is downward downward is negative and the force is 1 that equal to 0 so i resolved summation of all forces in y direction so here i am writing this equation like this again i am sending this minus 1 to this side so fdb sin 45 equal to plus 1 so fdb equal to 1 by sin 45 we know that sin 45 sin 45 is 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 so fdb equal to root 2 kilonewtons which is positive so it is compression compression is nothing but we assumed the direction fdb as compression have you seen this this is compressive force to joint d so the positive direction we got hence this fdb value is correct i mean this fdb direction is correct and next we are going to calculate fdc so fdc is our unknown here so by finding fdc we can find i'm going to substitute the value like this fdc equal to fdb by root 2 okay so here fdb value is root 2 so fdb root 2 by root 2 that is 1 so fdc value is 1 kilo newtons which is positive and again the direction which we assumed is correct fdc okay and next now joint d completed and next we are taking joint c so for joint c the free body diagram is like this okay 
which is joint C and this is the force FCE this is another force FCD and this is another force FCA and this is FCB which is 45 degrees so this is joint C free body diagram so by using these we are going to calculate same by using equilibrium equations sigma fx and sigma fy sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma fy equal to 0 that is nothing but summation of all forces in x direction and summation of all forces in y direction so this is y axis and this is x axis so first value is summation of all forces in x direction so first i am considering this one so fcd which is right side that is positive fcd next this one fca so fca here i am resolving this force in this direction x direction okay we know that this total angle is 90 degrees the remaining is in 45 degrees so i am resolving this force from here to here so here it is left side that is negative direction so minus i am writing minus and next this is previously i told that by using trigonometrical rule i am going to calculate this equation that is minus fca this theta is 45 degrees okay so i am going to resolve this force from here to here which is uh, this side is adjacent to this theta so fca cos 45 degrees okay so this is the equation that is equal to zero so again i am writing the equation like this i am sending this f cd equal to fca cos 45 so fca equal to fcd by cos 45 okay so we know the fcd value so fcd value is 1 1 divided by cos 45 1 by root 2 so fca value is root 2 which is root 2 kilo newtons which is positive value the force we assumed that is fca so fca is positive have you seen this fca is this one so which is away from this joint c so that is tension joint hence we got the hence our assumption is correct because i got the positive value and next i am going to calculate summation of all forces in y direction for the same diagram okay so sigma fy equal to zero summation of all forces in y direction so first i will show you the diagram so here y direction force fcb so fcb which is downward direction so fcb is i am writing that minus fcb which is downward and next fca so fca that is again i am resolving this force to this y direction again here it is theta and fca i am resolving this force from here to y direction so which is downward that is negative minus fca minus fca which is opposite to the direction that is sine 45 okay 
so that equal to 0 so here I am sending I am sending this to the right hand side so it becomes positive and FCA sin 45 remains like that so FCB equal to we know the FCA value so FCA value is minus I mean FCA value is root 2 so this is negative that is root 2 by 1 by sin 45 is root 2 and so root 2 root 2 get cancelled so the remaining value is 1 so FCB equal to 1 kilo newtons but here the thing is we got the negative value but here we got the negative value is nothing but here we assume the direction FCB like this so now we got the negative value that means the the assumed direction is not correct so we have to change this direction like this okay so my negative value means it is not correct so i am writing this like fcb equal to 1 kilo newtons compression previously we assumed the direction as tens tension but we got the negative value that's why i reversed this assumption like that we determine all the forces in the members now i'll show you individually so we got there are one two three six mem six members are there that is fdc equal to one kilo newton tension and fdb equal to root two kilo newton compression and fca equal to root 2 kilo newton tension and fcb equal to 1 kilo newton compression and we know that um, in joint e fec and fed equal to 0 because those two are non-collinear so like that we solve these simple truss by using method of joints the main thing is first you have to assume the directions very starting after that the second part is the free body diagram so after that we have to calculate the equilibrium conditions so that we can easily solve the forces in all the members i hope you understood this in i mean in the next video i am going to explain another simple truss problem by using method of joints thank you so much thanks for watching